New right now on the 19, we're also learning more about the proposed contract for Louisville Metro Police Officers. The new deal includes immediate raises and pay increases across the board for new and returning officers. And this comes as the department and the city continue to negotiate a consent decree with the U.S. Department of Justice. WHS 11 night teams Connor Steffen and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie are joining us live right now. And Connor, what did the process look like to finalize this new police deal? Doug, we're going to lay that out here for you guys in just a moment. Now, prior to this proposal, you had a lengthy round of negotiations between the union representing Metro police officers and Metro government officials. They both signed off on this four-year contract on Monday. That just leaves Metro Council to approve it. As Metro Council prepares to vote on a set of two Louisville FOP contracts. I am excited about the direction that we're headed. Metro Council President Marcus Winkler says it has potential to shift momentum in the right direction. I, I think that making sure that we've got officers that are well compensated, that are well taken care of, but that also are held accountable uh, when they do things incorrectly, I think is really important. And I think that's really the direction that we're moving. The 120 plus pages between both collective bargaining agreements tackle a slew of issues from working conditions to job benefits and police salaries. Really one of the main things is, is bumping up our levels of pay. I mean, if both proposals pass Metro Council, all LMPD officers and sergeants will see an immediate 7% boost in pay. Another round of raises would go into effect in July, bringing starting officer pay to just over $60,000 a year. We're competing against, you know, not just cities in the region, but cities just here in Jefferson County. And I think that the proposal that we've got in front of us goes a long way in addressing that issue. As of April 2nd, LMPD says the force is short 280 officers. Winkler says Louisville is competing for officers with departments in cities like Lexington and Covington, as well as right here in the county. Going to St. Matthew, Shively, other areas of the police department. Bishop Dennis Lyons has long had his finger on the pulse of the community. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gospel in My Soul Radio. He spoke about the FOP contracts during his radio show on 104.7 WLOU. In the midst of the DOJ report, in the midst of all of the things that the police department has done in the community against our civil rights, we may also see it as, you know, we're going to pay you for what you've done. While he sees the upside in higher police pay, he wonders how the community will respond. Back at City Hall, Winkler says prioritizing pay, especially for experienced officers, helps prioritize public safety. You know, when you have your more experienced officers leaving, uh, you have a less experienced force, and that certainly creates an opportunity for risk. Metro Council will be holding a special meeting at 5 Monday evening. They're looking for public uh, for a public the public to weigh in on these contracts. If you're interested in speaking, though, you do have to register online by 4 tomorrow. And of course, that meeting will take place right here behind me at City Hall. We're live in downtown Louisville. Connor Steffen to WHAS 1119 on your side. Connor, thank you. As part of our reporting on the story, we got a statement from Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg uh, tonight saying in part, quote, these two collective bargaining agreements set forth a new standard to better support our first responders and the families across our city who depend on them. Right now.